Okay, we've got a second demonstration of the brushed ESC running LEDs through a brushless system. Uh, Chris Toxic Toast gave me some information regarding mixing, which I've never done before, but I figured out mixing uh, the throttle to a gear switch. So instead of uh, wiring the brushed ESC along with the brushless ESC into the throttle switch, the brushless ESC is going into the throttle on the receiver and the brushed ESC is going into a gear switch. And what I've done is I've mixed the two uh, so that about uh, it's showing about 75% the lights are actually coming on and getting brighter as the throttle increases. Now um, I'm going to show you what I did here. Notice that um, I don't have the best of signal but it is going to work here for us. I'm going to start increasing the throttle and once it gets to about halfway the LED should pop on. Uh, this is with the gear switch in the on position currently. I have hooked up a motor to this so I can see the difference and also when that motor does come into play. The LEDs came on and I'm at about 50% of throttle and here I'm going to slowly increase it. Now I'm at max throttle and you can see the LEDs are at the maximum level. So it does work. Here's the settings on the DX7 if you can see these. That's the throttle setting that worked the best for this. Any other changes in there would just decrease the amount of throttle input or increase. And um, if I went in the positive on the offset, what would happen is the lower end value of the LED of that switch would uh, turn on the LED, which would go on uh, at full uh, throttle or at no throttle, it would be on full LED. And as I migrated to the middle of the throttle uh, switch, the LED would go out, it would decrease itself and go out, and then once I again went past the half throttle switch and increased to full throttle, it would again get bright. So I'll show it once more. And again, this is using the brushed ESC directly into a gear switch on the receiver versus wiring it to the throttle.